through the trees. Oh, he hit a car. He just had an accident. Side impact collisions are among the deadliest out there. There often isn't enough car between you and what's hitting you to keep you safe. The risk of dying or being seriously injured if you're struck in the side, right where you're sitting, is much higher than the typical frontal crash. But there are ways to improve the odds. Better designs and cutting-edge side curtain airbags with head protection. The government puts all vehicles through a side impact crash test, but the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety decided to up the ante. Funded by insurance companies, which want to encourage the design of safer cars and also drop insurance costs, the Institute has created a very tough but realistic test. Instead of using a barrier representing a passenger car like the government does, the Institute uses a much heavier, taller barrier that simulates an SUV. Brian O'Neill heads the Institute. We know that that's the worst case scenario. Because of the height of those vehicles, the risk for the occupants struck in the side by them are greater. And instead of using a dummy representing a large man like the government does, the Institute places a dummy the size of a small female or teenager in the driver's seat and also behind. As a result, instead of hitting the dummy in the pelvis area, the 31 mile an hour barrier comes in right at the dummy's head. So far in this testing, those blows to the head have indicated many potential deaths. This is a very tough test to pass. All the mid-sized cars in this round of testing have side airbags. First up, the 2004 Jaguar X-Type. It cost nearly $35,000, so it's considered a luxury mid-sized car. If this Jag's driver were a real person, she might have died. A person in a crash like this is going to sustain multiple rib fractures, and organ injuries, but the head is protected. That's small comfort if you're dying from torso injuries. We rate the Jaguar X-Type as marginal. The only rating lower is a poor. The $39,000 2004 Saab 95 is the highest price car in this group. Does paying more mean more protection? We have this combination torso and head airbag, and this did a reasonably good job of protecting the driver. And the rear passenger has no head protection and, in fact, struck the window frame. But the dummy showed a low risk of being seriously injured. The Saab gets the Institute's second highest rating, acceptable. Now the $37,000 2005 Mercedes C240. The armrests and other features on the inside of the door, they get driven in to the occupant. Even with the possibility of broken ribs, a driver would likely survive the crash. So the C-Class also gets an acceptable. The 2005 $28,000 Volvo S40. Rib injuries or even internal organ injuries. But the dummy is well protected from head injuries by the airbags, so the S40 gets a rating of acceptable. The $33,000 Lexus ES330 does even better. How did it do? It did reasonably well. We got some moderately high forces on the dummy's torso in the front seat. But not so high that the Lexus can't receive the Institute's best rating, good. Here's the $33,000 Acura TL. It's newly redesigned for the 2004 model year. The Acura TL also gets a good. The 2005 Mitsubishi Galant is the least expensive car in this group, $20,000. O'Neill says here is the real proof side airbags with head protection are important. Last year you could only get side airbags in the most expensive Galant. The Institute tested the standard model without them. In last year's test, the driver dummy recorded a likely skull fracture a potential death. Despite the fact that O'Neill was impressed with the structure of the car, he gave the 2004 Galant the worst possible rating, a poor. It was obvious to us that the addition of some head protection in this vehicle would make all the difference. And what a difference a year makes. 
Now Mitsubishi makes side impact airbags standard in the 2005 Galant. It's moved the vehicle up to being one of the best in its class. The 2005 Galant gets one of the Institute's top ratings, good. It is possible to get something even better than a good. But the Institute reserves a best pick for only the top safety performers. So far, not one vehicle with standard equipment has received that honor in this test. That is, until now. This is the $28,000 2004 Saab 93. It's $11,000 less than the Saab 95. In fact, the Saab 93 is one of the least expensive cars in this group. Remember, the barrier is going 31 miles an hour right into what would be this woman's head. Even O'Neill is surprised how few probable injuries there are. Well, if you were in a crash like this, you're going to be really shaken up very badly. So once you've got over this initial horror of what's happened to you, yeah, potentially you can get out of this vehicle and walk away. The Saab 93 gets a rating of good and the Institute's top honor, a best pick. Summing up, none of the cars in this round gets the Insurance Institute's worst rating, a poor. Half, four out of eight, get a good rating. What do the manufacturers think of their car's performance in these tests? They all say their vehicles meet or exceed all federal motor vehicle safety standards. Jaguar points out it received a four-star rating in the government side impact test. Mercedes, Lexus, and Volvo say their cars are built to protect drivers in all types of accidents, and no single test can replicate the real-world scenario. Thomas Broberg is Volvo's deputy safety director. It's just one test in one situation, and uh, in the field, you can have a large number of different situations appearing. O'Neill says most of these cars did well because they had standard side protection. We're going to see more and more cars with head protecting airbags and standard equipment they should have never been options in the first place uh, and we'll see improved performance appearing in new cars very quickly to find out how your car did in the insurance institute side impact test you can visit our website the address is dateline.msnbc.com